guys welcome to another episode of moment with your girl b all right guys i know you're wondering what's this you know glamour of this look for well hmm i guess it's how i'm feeling right now good life so but before that i have something to sip you know how we do it here but this time around it's just oranges so it's a good life girl Mm. Oh, this is nice so guys get us a big glass of juice and let's discuss moving on today oh today oh god i can't wait to tell you guys this hmm. what i'm going to discuss today on this episode is how you can value yourself you know it's all about value mm -hmm. it's all about value you have to value yourself before people will value you. Have you ever wondered why lots of people want to, you know, relate with those at the top? Because those at the top have value. <laughs> There's something that they carry and people want to be like them. So please, you too, carry something. So you have to start mm -hmm. placing value. On yourself <laughs> all right so let me just give you seven tips on how you can start placing value on yourself number one is stop comparing yourself with anybody mm -hmm, girlfriend don't compare yourself with anybody you are unique in your own way you are special God has taken his time to create you the way you are listen to me It's the trick of the enemy to snatch your identity from you through comparison so you have to stop comparing yourself with anybody like you know what i'm saying anybody that wants to you know just let them go you are you unique in your own ways you know what i'm saying so stop comparing anybody stop comparing when you look at yourself in the mirror be grateful for who you are don't compare yourself with anybody they can't be another you your gifting your talent is just for you every element that you need to be better in life god has deposited it in you so it's left for you to search deep inside of you and bring that gift out and don't compare yourself you can't sing like um a no b all right you can sing like you do you understand me so just be you so number one don't compare yourself with anybody number two don't settle you know what i'm saying oh don't settle don't feel oh my god i have to do this i have to accept this person just out of sympathy out of you know uh, i'm you know i'm comfortable where i am right now you know i'm, I'm fine because I, I don't know what's out there listen to me the trick of the enemy is also to bring fear and doubt in you fear of the unknown yeah girlfriend don't be scared Face that thing and pursue it. Don't settle. Don't you ever settle for anything less than of who you are. Have the urge, the urge to strive more because you can do more. You have you, you don't even understand the capacity that is in you. So please do not settle. Number three is start appreciating yourself. Start appreciating where you sleep, your bed. The food you eat the clothes you wear yourself when you start appreciating yourself and everything around you people around you will begin to appreciate you that's the secret yeah even if you're fat you're slim you gotta appreciate who you are you know what i'm saying yeah i like me i may not be like a but this is b and i am unapologetic at all so please start appreciating yourself do not feel less important appreciate your relationship appreciate your family appreciate your dreams and your vision appreciate everything around you start appreciating if you look at yourself in the mirror tell yourself no one like me this girl she's hot in the lord she's hot in the things that she do so please appreciate yourself the, the fourth one is foster healthy relationship 
please, you need to foster a healthy relationship. Relationship that does not define who you are in that relationship, please. What's in law? Please run away, please. You got to run away. So foster a healthy relationship because it's going to help you in life. Healthy relationship is about people who know who you are comfortable with. People who, even if it's two people that support your dream, two people that, that, that encourages you, please stay in that relationship because that's all that matters. You don't need crowd. No, no, you don't need crowd. Two, even one person is enough. As long as the person encourages you every time and supports your vision and your dream, then that is a healthy relationship for you. Then number five, learn to say no. Oh, lots of people these days, we just tend to always say, ah, yes, yes to people's demand. Listen, when you say no, you're saying yes to yourself. You use first before any other person. Safety first, you, your happiness first before any other person. So please, I beg you, learn to say no when it's needed. And of course, to say yes when you want to. But you need to have no in your dictionary. See, I've actually, like for me, let me tell you, I want to share this because it's my personal experience. I'm more, I'm more of someone who want to please people, you know, trying you know, growing up, I was like, oh, I want them to like me, so let me start pleasing them, whatever they say I should do, whatever they ask me to bring up. And I found out that I was frustrated. I was so down, like I couldn't find me, the happy me, the happy Bella. Like, do you understand me, guys? I couldn't, I couldn't find myself until I started to say no. I set my boundaries. No, I'm not doing this. No, I'm not in for this. Sorry, I'm busy. I can't do it. Before people started knowing, oh, yeah, really? This girl, she got something. So please, guys, learn to say no. Six is, hmm, set healthy boundaries for yourself. Healthy boundaries to protect yourself. It is healthy. It's not like toxic. A healthy boundary for yourself. I can't do this. I can't go here. Plus, this is your limit that you can come for. You have to give me my self-respect here. You don't talk to me like that in the public. You don't, um, don't devalue me at the public. You don't say things to me at the public I don't like. Just let them know. Set healthy boundaries for yourself because it's very, very important. And last but not the least, girls, follow your heart. No matter what you do in life, follow your heart. Follow your feelings. Follow your heart. Follow the things that makes you happy. Follow it. Like for me, I know what makes me happy. And I cannot jeopardize it for anything. Okay? Don't be around people who makes you sad. Who, who does not want to know, appreciate who you are, whatever. Man, follow your heart. Like they say, dreams never goes away they are simply postponed so you know your dream you know your vision no matter how you just want to deny yourself of, of it you know that it will keep coming over and over it keeps reminding you you need to do this you need to talk to this person you need to write this book you need to do this song you need to so those little words that speak to you every now and then is telling you to follow your heart a lot of things will be happening around the world. A lot of distractions. Yes, they are all there to distract you. But at the long run, you must follow your heart in everything that you do. Follow your heart in love with the right person that you want to love. Because you know we all have that person that press our move button. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's someone that makes you go da da. You know? Someone that makes you go crazy. So it's it's it is it is normal. Yeah, it is normal. So follow your heart. And finding your true love. Follow your heart and pursue your dream. If you're in a job that's not giving you happiness, sister, my brothers, please quit silently and follow your heart and live life. You know what I'm saying? Like me, cheers to healthy living and good life. After this video, I'm going to be eating a very delicious. Um, oh, Jesus. I'm going to, don't worry, I'll show you the. Uh, I'll show you the right now when i drop this video because you know 
I have to live my life. I have to follow my life. I have to follow my dream. I mean, I have to follow my purpose. I have to follow my happiness. Anything that makes me happy, listen, I go for it. I'm done pleasing people. I'm done living people's dream. This is just the new life. I love you all. Thank you for watching. Uh, um, in case you want this glass, um, I have like three of them and I want to give it out. So please just uh, drop your comment on the comment section below and tell me why you love the glass. And anywhere you are in the world, I'm sure going to get you this glass. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye. It is still moment with B. Mm. Mm.